Hello and welcome to this short tutorial on interpreting footage in Premiere Pro because sometimes Premiere Pro doesn't get it right. Now it always helps if you know what is right because Premiere Pro is going to make assumptions and if they're wrong and you don't know what it should be then you're going to be guessing and try and get it right and it'll be a case of trial and error. But if you do know what it is then you can actually make sure that the footage looks right in Premiere Pro and if it looks wrong and you're not sure what's wrong, here's what to do. Now I've got this piece of footage from Adobe called The Alchemist and at the moment it tells me it's video 1408 by 1152 and it's got a pixel aspect ratio of 1. It's only 1 second and 23 frames long at 25 frames per second. I know that's wrong. But anyway, I've brought the footage in. Let's see what happens if I create a new sequence based on this information. Now I've got CS5 and as I've shown you in a previous tutorial all you need to do is grab hold of the footage and drag it down to the new items icon and let go and a sequence is created that is based on the footage. So if I just zoom in so we can see the sequence, you can see the sequence but clearly that doesn't look right. It looks very squashed and you can't see the information properly. We're going to be cleaning this up by the way in a future tutorial but the guy is far too long and thin and that doesn't look right. Um, but Premiere Pro has made this assumption, how do I change it? Simple as this, go to your footage and right click on it and then modify and go to this option here, interpret footage and click on that. Now if you know what your footage is then you can change this and make all the right assumptions. So for instance I know that this is 24 frames per second so I can click where it says use this frame rate which is my default one for a PAL system if you have an NTSC system it might be at 29.97 or 30 but I can just click on assume this frame rate and change it to 24 frames per second and then the real issue is this one down here pixel aspect ratio this is assumed it is square pixels which has really squished the image up we know that it's something different and actually I know that this is anamorphic it's 2 to 1 so if I click on 2 to 1 and then anything else well we know it's going to be progressive we don't need a field order and we don't need to worry about the alpha channel so we can just click OK then the guy looks better but I haven't got all the information so what do I do now because if I click on the actual image itself and start to move it around you'll see that there's a whole lot of information that's now not showing in my sequence what do I do to get that sorted simple I take my item and I drag it down to the new items icon let go and it produces, as you can see, an anamorphic sequence for me, which is exactly the same pixel aspect ratio that we've created, the same length, it's also taken the same, as you can see, 24 frames per second as opposed to 25. So now I have my footage in here, I'm ready to do a bit of color correction, to use my graphs to be able to get this working properly. Well, I hope you found this tutorial useful. My name's Andrew Davis, and thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.